Good morning. Good morning. Happy morning. It's your birthday. I've never even heard that song before. <laughs> it is my birthday. So we're gonna go get an awesome breakfast because it's only quarter to eight right now. I'm working from home today, but I'm gonna start that after breakfast. But you're also going to give blood. Yes. Because you signed up to give blood. Because I signed up to give blood. I, up, I, up, I did, in fact, sign up to give blood on my birthday. So breakfast, give blood, home to work. P.S. It is 41 degrees here in Florida this morning. 41 degrees. You're Two more a, degrees, just, it would be in the 30s. You're just that's, dark. that's the Chicago. You're just a dark shadow. Holler and dash and celebration biscuit house. We're undecisive. And so I had to go back and get a side of tots with Hollaback sauce because <laughs> Sarah really wanted it. This is also our song. One of our one songs. Of our one of our newer songs. Yeah. This is our, we want to get a van. If anybody has a van, a really old van that they would donate to us that we could renovate in the back, we'll do the renovations ourselves and then drive out west. I quit my job for a couple months. Yeah. Just we would just vlog and drive the western half of the country. And the thing is, like, we would totally do that. I know. <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 look. Peter got grits. Cheddar grits. Pimento cheese, jalapenos, fried chicken on a biscuit. Chicken set, go. And I got andouille sausage with biscuits and gravy Open and cheddar cheese. Friendly neighborhood stroll. It's a celebration news magazine. For free? Yeah, we're gonna take it on the way back. So I'm donating blood this morning. Mm -hmm. So I figured we would, since we're so close, we would take a stroll by Main Street to see the menorah and the Christmas tree in the calm morning of a closed Main Street celebration. Beautiful. Hanukkah is officially over. Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah. Does, does anybody else think of uh the Rugrats when I think of Hanukkah, because I do. Yeah, that's how I learned all of my information. There's a bunch of fake snow still on the ground. Wait, this isn't real. <laughs> yeah, this is like a trickery of the mind right now, because like I've seen snow like a zillion times. It looks times. like dirty snow, doesn't it? Because <laughs> there's flakes I'm freaked on it. out right now. This looks both. It's funny, you can smell the soap. How's your work day going? My work day is going worky. Just finished editing the vlog. How is it? Good. And Peter did indeed guess my birthday cake. Right. I did? Yeah. Is it coming with cookies recipe? He figured it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking to mom about last night. Can I eat it all right so, now? So, you can eat it today. I'm really nervous though. Why? Because it's so special from Grandma. Oh. Who knows if she did anything like weird and voodoo to it that I won't know. Grandma Cookie didn't do anything weird or voodoo. <laughs> she did write simple Italian the woman. recipe on a piece of paper, but upside down. I'll show you the picture of it. Okay. <laughs> and we'll decide if we're going to share the recipe or if it's going to be an ancient, ancient, ancient Grandma Cookie world. secret. <laughs> Baked the cheesecake, took it out, let it cool, then put the last little sour cream vanilla sugar concoction on top for 10 minutes more and it goes. There's my sleepy pup. Today is almost beginning to actually celebrate my birthday. Work is just about done, but here's the finished part. It looks pretty close to Grandma Cookies. Um, I'm about to cut a piece out. It's not cold enough, but I'm going to cut a piece out and try it stick it in the freezer for about five or ten minutes just to try it before we head out but it looks divine okay there it is so i didn't let this piece cool off all the way so it looks similar but not exactly like grandma cookies but i'm not i'm sure once it actually cools and it gets cold and like hardens from the fridge that it will be much more 
like ground cookies in texture, but the taste, Sarah doesn't know yet because she's getting ready. Taste, spot, on. I'm gonna ask her what she, how she made the crust, because the crust seems almost like slightly salty, but besides that, like, it is 98% grandma cookies cheesecake. And it tastes so good. Best birthday sweet treat I can ask for. I was going into that with very low expectations because of how many different like classic Grinches we watch. And, and the no reviews. One love, and the reviews. But we absolutely loved it. Loved it. Like I might want to go see that again before Christmas. <laughs> it's, it's just, just like, a different way of telling the story of Grinch. And the feel goodness. And it's like a cheesy feel good yeah. Christmas movie. And you know we're cheesy feel good people. Yeah, I was worried at first like the visuals are very intense, but it kind of cools down after a little bit. Oh my and um just like the different elements of the story are told differently, but like still like well done. Good. Go check it out if you like feel good cheesy Christmas movies. But it step but on I the will say yeah. Classic. And it you does, can tell it, it it does a lot to stay different from it. Yeah, it but does it's still reference classic. like the classic quotes like I'm from the stop book, this not from thing. It's, they're yeah. not from other versions of the Grinch. They're from the yeah. book. So, so it it's cool not it trying to be a movie that it's not trying to be. It stayed true. But it was its own, and I loved it. And now we're gonna go into hang Peter's out. Favorite shop. Boo. and then we're gonna go hang out in Springs for next. We got four hours until Elf. We're in Sugarboo. Look how beautiful this is. And I think I've only said it a handful of times, but Sarah and I actually have "You Are My Sunshine" on the inside of our wedding bands and engraved. So beautiful. I know what I'm getting, but I'm nervous. I, I kind of want to get something else. What if I get something else? I was thinking the battered burger. So here it was like a flyer for Cooks of Dublin. It's got the history on the back of the original Cooks of Dublin by George Cook in 1934 in 46 South Richmond Street in Dublin City. It's got a little history here and how far they went to make the best fish and chips. And the menu right here. The food arrived. There's Sarah's cheeseburger. Is that a ciabatta bun? Is it just one big? Yeah. Ooh. That's like big chips. and little in Chicago. Yes. The cheddar. Ooh. Live. Bacon cheddar. Delicious. Worth the five bucks it was or something. Good. Yes. Cute decorations for Christmas. And cute ground tiles. Are you so happy? So happy. I got an unexpected birthday present today Ooh. from my sister in law, Christina. Look at this. The best part about it, I don't know where I put the, the ticket, I'll find it later. It's from the Quiet Man. Here, it's Quiet right Man Bray. The, the Quiet Man playing. Collection. Ooh. Look at these new Lego editions. Because there's other Cinderella statues in this Disney Springs. There's no other Rays. Or BB-8. <laughs> oh, there is a BB-8. Look how stoic she looks. Wow. She's a powerhouse with a flat forehead. Look at that flat forehead. <laughs> Sorry, Ray, but I don't know. Legos are blocks. <laughs> Got a black forehead. <laughs> this Mickey Mouse Clubhouse line has tested our simplest mindset lifestyle to the extreme. Not happy about it. It's, it's a very difficult time. We came to Westside to investigate if there was some live music or performances, and there's all of a sudden two gentlemen in Christmas suits, one wielding knives. Alrighty, here's an update on the NBA Experience Building. It's finally like worth showing. It's gonna be crazy. It looks like the Tron ride. Roundy, big, tall. Looks good. Who? Who? 
Oh no! It's One Republic! Yeah, I just saw the sign. So One Republic is like one of Peter's favorite bands. And we forgot that they were playing on his birthday. We were actually gonna come. But they, the tickets were like over $80 each. So, we're seeing what last minute tickets are. Are you sad now? I wish we hadn't remembered. $97. Yeah, we just asked. 97 We were still available, but the show starts in like literally three minutes. Okay, so the guys got, we just mixed, all I want for Christmas mixed radio station just gave us those tickets, but we can't bring this big camera in. So I'm running that key, the camera back to the car. Katie's on her way now. This is incredible. One of my books one of my favorite bands. And the guy was just like, I got, I got these tickets for you. You want them? And we're like, it's one of my favorite bands. He's like, they're yours. I was like, it's my birthday too. And he's like, they're yours. You just won. The radio station gave them to us. Like, oh my God. So I gotta run and put this back. So underdressed. Okay, one, neither of us have been here before. Two, we're freaking out. <laughs> You can barely see this because it's so dark, but know that I, Peter Burkhardt, am freaking out. All I've wanted for about 11 years now is to see One Republic. We almost saw them when we were 16 years old, but we went to see a different band instead. And magic happened, and we're seeing One Republic tonight. get in that car and drive and that's what this song is about and if it hadn't connected we were going to break up as a band and we were all going to go work at guitar center so thank you for liking this song We've taken the past two years off because we, we went, we toured non-stop. Since 2007, we did not get off the road uh, until 2017. 2019 is the first year we're going we're gonna to actually put out new singles that we promote, put out a new album. It's, it's the era of us giving a damn again. This next song I wrote for somebody else, I'm going to sing it in a higher key because that's the key I wrote it in. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can see your hand on. You know you're my saving grace. This is one of my favorite songs of all time. I'm a massive Christmas song fan. We all are. Silent night. Oh.
tonight was an unexpectedly magical and beautiful birthday. So I guess, like, I don't know how much you talked about, like, when you went to the car. I'm just freaking out, so I just, I don't even think it was good. <laughs> um, we wanted to go tonight because it was Peter's birthday, One Republic, but it was just such an expensive show. $100 a ticket. So when we were there tonight, we are like, ah, oh, that show. I mean, I think you kind of see that in the clip. Yeah, we, like, forgot about it. We and realized, like, oh. I think, we realized. And, and it was funny because Peter wanted a low-key birthday. And I kept on being like, do you want to go to Magic Kingdom? Do you want to go to Epcot? Do you want to especially after some of our plans fell through. And had they not fell through, we wouldn't have been at there at that perfect at time. the One Republic concert for free. And thank you, Katie, for coming with. And thank you, Security Guard at House of Blues. For giving us the For giving us ticket. one of the best. It's going to be one of my favorite memories of all time. Like yeah. this, is, this is top three favorite birthdays of all time, I just because I don't know. Presents. I don't want to offend any other birthday right now, but I think it might be my favorite birthday. Thank you, everybody, for your wonderful birthday wishes. I am now 27 officially, one step closer to my AARP card, and I cannot wait. It's, it's good to good be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.